In the module section of your Canvas, you will find files, uh, zip files that can be downloaded, and PDF that will do t detail out each of these individual assignments. You will see the zips I have downloaded already. Hit the target, white box with no tank by, and in the hit the target, you will find these particular files. They will have the pictures for each of the individual targets that you need to hit, a cannon, the cannonball, and the three main files that exist for this project. Inside of this particular folder, uh, you will um, open them up and find each of these, and you will see that all the assignments need to be filled out and completed. In the PDF, you will find all the instructions that you need to follow here on the right hand side, and using your prior knowledge of assignments that we've done in the past, you need to come up with a solution that will complete each of the tasks. I will walk you through a number of those tasks and lead you towards this assignment. In target, it says that we need to uh, add all the missing attributes. So what we can do is we can go down to target in here, you see over here it's cannonball, and we'll go down to the next one, it says target. Target says we need to load all the images. We can get to that. And you will see that we will have all of these different attributes. And to the right of that, you will see any settings that need to be set, like the width, the width is 60, the height is 100, and the speed is going to start at zero, and the health is going to start at five. These are a number of things that we need to consider. I will go ahead and pop over to a pre-done assignment to make this video a little faster and easier to deal with. Um, in target, you will see that we have X, Y, W, H, health, width, and direction are all instantiated here at the top of the class target. We also are going to create a final in, uh, integer called up value, down value, left value, and right value. These are going to be uh, assigned later for direction control and this is to uh, help out throughout. I want you to use these for um, all the assignments that are going to come up in the future. Uh, images, we need to have zero hit, one hit, two hit, all the way to five hits. This is how many times the target has been hit. And as you'll see, they're going to correspond with the different images that were found in that folder. As you see, zero hits is target PNG. It is the base level, um, a brand new pristine target ready to start the game. One hit, two hit, three hit. As you see, each one of these starts to add on one extra hit. And as you get down to five, it will be a broken image. Now, target is usually only the up and down. There's never going to be a left and a right, but we want that to be there so that you can utilize that code in the other assignments that we will have coming up. We can just copy and paste those over and utilize them as you need them. Uh, if direction is up, we're going to remember that when you go up, Y, it's going to be zero, 0, in the upper left-hand corner. So it the X goes to zero as it goes to the left. The Y goes to zero as it goes up. So if we want to get to the top of the screen, we have to subtract from the Y. And we're going to subtract the speed so that we know that it's moving only as fast as the game's allowing it to at the time. If Y is less than zero, we're going to change the direction back downwards and, and say, hey, you're at zero. Let's go ahead and start to move down. This is just to make sure it doesn't continue going northwards all the way off of the screen. Now, if it's not an up value, it's likely going to be a down value since there are only two options, up and down. That makes it a Boolean type suggestion. So if it's not one, it has to be the other. Going down is getting close to a large one. So we will be taking that speed and adding it to Y. If the Y plus the height, because the picture uh, images are drawn with X and Y in the upper left-hand corner of the images, and we have a width to the picture, 
and a height in the picture. So to make sure that the bottom of the height actually feels like it's existing, we're going to take the y and add the height, and then say, if that's greater than 500, we're going to turn around. And we're going to say, hey, go back. We don't want you going any further. If you try to go down, we'll just put you back at 500 by the side. Then we have direction is up value, and we start the process all over again as it loops on each of the updates using the draw from the main file. Hurt. We know that over here it says that hurt, the health is greater than zero. We're going to lower the health by one and increase the speed by two. So here we're going to lower the height of the health, we're going to increase the speed, and that's only when the health is greater than zero. If the health is equal to zero, we set the speed back to zero. The game's over. We don't want anything moving. Draw self. All right. So in each one of these, it's based on if it's a health of five, four, all the way back down to zero, we want to make sure we're using the correct image and importing that to the screen using the X and Y so that they're all basically trying to draw at the same time in the same location. And the if tells us which picture is going to actually be shown. Here we say if the health is zero, we're going to make it black fill, you win at the location of this X and Y, and say hey, press R to restart. Get X is going to show an X, is set and return an X. Get Y is going to return the Y, and these are from the attributes up here. Width, get width, total width, get height for height. Reset is going to say, hey, let's take the original settings and put them back the way they were. So let's take X and Y and put the image back in the center on the right hand side. And the width and height, which never really changed, but it's good to have it to get into. We're going to put the width and height back there. The health is going to go back to 5, the speed is 0, and the direction is going to go back to the starting position of up value. Get health is going to return health. This is all part of the target, and we will utilize some of these later on from one of the other files. Now, Cannonball, if we go up to Cannonball, it has a pretty simple way as well. It says we need these attributes, so X, Y, width, height, speed, shots, Boolean moving, and P image ball. So here we have Boolean moving is false, which means that, hey, if it's true, it's moving across the screen. If it's not moving, it's probably sitting in the resting position, and then we're going to use that to say, hey, let's use it again. Not a problem. Uh, cannonball, yeah, we're going to just reset, and later on we'll show you what the reset method goes to. The speed is 7. For the default in the cannonball, we want it speeding across the screen. It just came out of the cannon. The ball, we're going to load the image and show the ball or the cannonball. Target. Now, here's the fun part. Later on, it's going to ask you to run an update. You'll see here in cannonball, there's an update, and it's requiring you to pass it a target so it knows what it's looking for. If the target is, uh, if the moving is true, we're going to increase the speed. If it's greater than 600, we're going to set it back to the resting position. And we're going to set it moving to false. Let's see. This was preloaded code already. But if you happen to see semicolons sitting here at the end of the screen, you probably want to delete them now. As they will end up breaking your code. Then we're going to look at the hit. If it's hit, it's true. We're going to set it back to negative 100. We're going to move and use false. And then we're going to call the hurt to say, hey, go ahead and uh, take uh, apply some damage to the object, which is the target. Under draw self, we don't have any parameters, but we need to draw an image. So we need to give it an X and a Y. We can fill and put the target, I mean, the um, the text, shots, and what number, what shots are we at? Then we have the X and the Y where they're located. Fire says, hey, is it in the resting position? Which literally is one, negative 100, negative 100 off the screen to the left, and it's moving is false. 
then you're allowed, if it's way off the screen and it's not moving, to apply a shot and put it on the screen, teleporting it in front of the cannon, and having it fire out. And then you set an infamous troop. The reset sets everything back to its default settings. And this will find the conclusion to Cannonball. So we go over to hit the target. I hit the target. We're going to run a setup. And here we're going to create a target of type T, I mean the, of the variable T. And it's of type target, which is right here. It is the class name for target. So we're going to create an instance of target, call it T, an instance of Cannonball, call it CB, and a P image, image cannon. And we're actually going to utilize that later on. Here in the setup, we're going to create the basics of what we need to know. What's the size? And we're going to initiate or uh, define what that object T is. So it's a new target. The cannonball has a new cannonball. These are causing brand new and utilizing those constructors that we called earlier. Then we would come down and create a image cannon and load the cannon. And we will load a prefont F, which you probably found in one of the other files. You want to move it over here into the setup so that it can be created safely. And the error that is there will go away. Text font, we're going to load that font to be the font used by text font. Now in draw, you see that we have a background. We have the image, image cannon, and it has an X and Y. But these are the updates and the draw self. You notice that target never needed any parameters for either one of these. So target.update and target.draw self. But over here, up say and the update, we need to know what the target is. So it goes CB dot update, and then we pass it the target object. And then we just call the draw self again. Now I want you to actually go through and try to figure out the firing and I want you to figure out how the other commands are going to work, like the reset button, and see if you can get those to work. That's the final project part that I need you to complete to make this project work.